And now that shooting happened just after 1230 this afternoon on Canal Street near St. Charles. Two people were arrested, but what their roles were in the shooting are still under investigation. Check it out. This is some video from a business near the scene. You can see people standing outside. Then they start to run for cover. You can then see a man with a gun open fire, take off and throw the gun down. An officer nearby quickly cuffs him. You can see the state police unit right there. The man shot died at the hospital. Police Superintendent Sean Ferguson says the police had increased their presence downtown when the city started taking in the more than 9,000 evacuees for Laura. As for the motive behind that shooting, it is still under investigation. Well, the ongoing problem of gun violence in the city of New Orleans has a city organization working on ways to stop it. As Mike McDaniel explains, a long-term investment approach is how it's being done. Recent gun violence in the city of New Orleans has city leaders sending out a message they've said many times before. The city of New Orleans will not and shall not tolerate such behavior. Tuesday, a shooting just after noon in downtown involving evacuees from Lake Charles left one man dead. Hours later, a shooting on the I-10 service road left one woman injured. Monday night, a shooting in Central City left four people injured, one of them a 14-year-old boy. Later that night, a shooting in the Lower Ninth Ward left one man injured. We have in New Orleans experienced, um, you know, epidemic proportions of gun violence. All that gun violence has a city-sponsored effort known as Cure Violence working to stop it. It's cliche, but it's it, it's so true. Like one murder is is too many. According to numbers from the city council's criminal justice committee, murders in particular are up nearly 50 percent over last year. So far this year, there are 123 murders compared to 83 this time last year.